everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I'm gonna do a simple ring pour on. Um, let's go over my paints. I am using a lot of leftover paints that I won't go over all the names of them. I will put them in the description. I can tell you that I did add a new paint today. It's the Modern Masters uh, Metallic Black Pearl. And I did uh, use the Amsterdam white, and I did add a dollop of the DecoArt satin enamel to that. And this will be my base coat, and I will put, and this will be used also in the pour. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to stop the camera, put down my um, base coat, and get my cup uh, layered. One cup I'm using today, and then I'll bring you back. So we'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've got my base coat down. I've got my cup all layered, and I will show you this cup. I layered it from the side down, not right through the middle down. So there is uh, layers here. And I put a little puddle of my base coat down here. So I'm just gonna get started putting the paint on. And I did not add silicone today, I forgot to mention that. My pouring medium is my normal, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and a tablespoon of Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. I did leave my paints a little bit on the thicker side today so I can try and get some rings here if not it's it's no big deal just having fun today just paint that's what Jilly Jilly Cube says it's just paint just have some fun your art room your painting your rules And if I get some of the clouding effect today from the enamel, that would be great. I've really not achieved that goal as much as I would like to yet with the cloudy effect. But I will keep trying. Okay. Now I think I will torch it first. And I think I will add some of the enamel around my paint here. The white base coat with the enamel in it just to help the paint move a little. And hopefully give us that cloudy effect. One person that really does get that nice cloudy effect is Sarah Mack, if you ever get a chance. Visit Sarah's channel. That's M A C K. She's done a lot of galaxy pours, and uh, they're beautiful. Just a little bit more here. Might as well use it up.
Okay, so I can start tipping now. And to start out, I will try and tip in a circular pattern here, bringing it back to the middle as I go. And I will try and get my corners slowly. You don't have to tip fast. You can take your time. I'm going to bring that center back. And I will get this corner. and bring it back. Bringing it back to the center here. And now I think I'll get this corner. And bring it back to the center again. Just checking my corners as I go along here. And I have one corner left, this corner here. And I will bring that back. I'm just going to take a look at it now. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to be stretching it out a little bit. And I'm going to start with this corner. Take just a little of that paint off there and then bring it back. The more you stretch it, you're, you're um, able to get that cloudy effect. Okay, just taking a look at it here. I'm going to take just take a little bit off down here, this corner. I still have quite a bit of paint on my canvas. Okay, and I'm gonna bring that back. Okay, I can take another look at it. I'm going to stretch it down this way a little bit. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. And I'm going to take a little bit off in this corner again. Okay, I'm going to bring that back. and bring it down. And I'm going to take a look at it now. See what I do and I don't like. OK, 
Okay, what I do like is I'm keeping some of that gold in there, which I do like. And I do like how this has stretched out and it has gotten cloudy. And I do like how the black has stayed in these lines here. You can see that. I really do like that. And I do like the Christmas of these darker blue lines here. I'm pretty happy with this painting and I don't know if I want to tip it anymore. Maybe just a little bit down here, not much. I do like what's going on down there. Okay. And I will bring that back. Okay. Composition wise, I think it would go this way. Take my finger and clean off the bottom here. Check my sides, check the corners. And I'm gonna give it a torch. See if we bring anything up. I like this painting. It's not one of my favorites, but it has possibilities. It maybe could have some embellishments after it's dry, but I really do how, like how the lines stayed intact. And then you have the cloudy effect on this side. Got a lot going on. So I'm gonna bring you down for a close up and see what you think. Okay, we have the upper left-hand corner here. And here is where I talked about those black lines. And here's some of the cloudy effect from that enamel paint. A few cells popping up here and there. And I am glad that that gold did, sh did come through. I didn't have a lot of gold paint left, but it did come through. And I'm happy about that. So I'm taking you up the middle here. Rings stayed pretty intact. I'm pretty happy with that too. There's the center. Some more of the black. I really do. I do like that. That contrast. And this is the upper left hand corner. And this, I'm sorry, upper right hand corner. And I'll take it on the right side here. Very pretty. Okay, let me know what you think about this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video.
And if you haven't subscribed yet, that would be great. It's free. And until next time, take care, everybody. And thank you for watching. Bye for now. A bonus at the end of this painting. I just was not happy. I thought it looked too plain. So what I did is I had a lot of black paint left over. So I just put some lines of the black paint around this painting and took my skewer and just drew it through the painting and then I did some tipping. I'm much happier with it now. I think it has more for the eye to look at than before. And uh, let me know what you think. I'll take you all over the painting again. Here's the upper left, down the left-hand side. You can see where I've added the black and I'll run the skewer through. And I'll take you up the middle. Some more black added here. More tipping done. Here's the upper right. And this is the area that I really like is in here. I think that turned out really, really nice. So let me know now what you think. Do you like this better than when it was just before? Now that I've added a little extra black to it and run the skewer through it and did a little more tipping? Let me know. And thanks again for watching, everybody. Bye for now.